Hello guys, welcome to my channel and now we are solving another problem known as apple and orange. So you know this is a nice problem you know and uh, the description of the problem is quite fascinating. So you know uh, I'll go and explain how this problem can be solved and uh, you know the only difficult part of this problem is how this problem is framed. So you'll have to see how to solve this problem. So for example, Sam house has an apple tree, tree and orange tree that yield an abundance of fruit. So there is an apple tree, there is an orange tree. Okay. And this is his house. So now using the information given below, we have to determine whether an apple or orange falls within this range of the house or it's outside the house. So, you know, it's, it's mentioned that the red region denotes the house where S is the starting point. This is the S is the starting point and T is the end point. The apple tree is to the left of the house and orange tree is to the right of the house. Okay. Now what we are going to do is that assume that trees are located on a single point where the apple tree is at point A and the orange tree is at point B. When a fruit falls from that tree, it lands D units of distance from its tree. So for example, fruit falls from at this point. So you know it is left to the house and at its, it is at the D units from this tree. So the total distance can be calculated as A plus D. Similarly, the orange can fall to the this um, uh, to the right of the now x axis or to the left of the x axis with a particular distance. So here it is given that when a fruit falls from a tree, it lasts d units of distance from its tree of origin along the x axis. A negative value of d means that the fruit fell d units to the tree's left. So for example, here the orange, the left is the will be the minus units okay and the positive will be on the positive x to the side of the x axis so now what we have to identify that if a tree is falling whether this is false on the house or not so basically the you have a starting point and a ending point so what we can do is when a tree is falling we are going to calculate the distance that is a plus d and see that new distance is between this range of s and t that means apples have in the follow in the house similarly what we are, we are going to do is that, okay, we'll take the orange, we'll calculate B plus D distance and see whether does distance end point, you know, or the point on the X axis lies between this S and D. So this is the algorithm and let's start solving the code. So we have one int apple counter. We'll initialize the apple counter to zero. At the end, we have to count, you know, increment these counters and these will be the uh, response values like how many apples and how many oranges fall into the Sam's house. Another int orange counter. So now we will loop through the apples. So for int i equal to zero, i less than apples dot size i plus plus okay so now i'm checking what is the temporary distance like okay in temp equal to apples dot get i so this is the distance sorry i was apples dot get i <coughs> apples dot get i plus a yes so a is the original distance of the tree on the x-axis and we are getting the d distance of the apples in the array so now we are going to check and check whether this temp variable is greater than equal to s right greater than equal to s and temp is less than equal to t that's it if this is the case just increment the apple counter similarly what we are going to do is we are going to copy this and run the loop for the orange counter and make sure that you change the distance to b. 
because b is the position of the rh tree once this is done we will just so starting function we just need to print the apple counter and the orange counter apple counter and then we are gonna do is the orange counter that's it and let's run the code <clears throat> okay so this is something which always happens to me writing the code you know so it says that bad operator types for binary operator and and huh. so let me see okay this is the problem like okay now let's run again <clears throat> okay so it's a simple test case is passed successfully let's submit our code and see all the test cases are getting passed successfully or not so all the test cases has passed so basically <clears throat> you know in in our you know classes in math, mathematical algebra we did a study that okay the points on the x-axis right so it's, it's a simple problem so we are just having a position and we are comparing it between the two points on the, on the same line uh, guys if you like this video please comment like and share do subscribe to my channel so that you can get a notification whenever i post a new video and the solution to this problem will also be posted on the git my github repository link and it is part of the description of this video thanks for watching keep watching my new videos thank you